What's up, fam? Guess what? The franchise is over, but we ain't done. We got all the hot interviews, killer interviews with the entire cast. You know how we do? We bring the heat. Of course, we're bringing it with the Dark Knight Rises. All you got to do is sit, sit back, watch. You know how we do. Watch this. Check it out. Bam! <laughs> Storm coming. You sound like you're looking forward to it. I'm adaptable. What are you? I'm Gotham's reckoning. Severe. Do you think he's coming back? I don't know. Why would you run, Bane? You should be as afraid of him as I am. I won't bury you. I've buried enough members of the Wayne family. You don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. They warned me about getting into cars with strange men. This isn't a car. I like your red shoes. Thank you. It's very Kansas of you. It's very Dorothy. So if you click them, where would you end up? Not in this room. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Come on! Hey, congratulations on the movie, though. <laughs> now I had to put a See, I got a smile. That's, that was my whole goal. Oh, good. Make Anne smile. But no, congratulations <laughs> on this. Thank you. You got to jump in on the third one. Mm -hmm. What was the experience like? Because this is like a legendary role. You're playing Catwoman. Some greats have rocked the cat suit. I mean, Eartha Kitt, Michelle Pfeiffer, Halle Berry. Now it's your turn. Julie what did Newmar. you bring to the table? Julie Newmar. That's right. That dude. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. You caught that. And you said, and now it's my turn. Yes. And what did you bring to the table? Oh, God, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. No, I don't. It's really? not. It's not for me to... I mean, I, I just... Met with, when I met with Chris, I didn't think that Catwoman was actually the, because it is so iconic and has been explored before, I thought that uh, he wouldn't go with that character. And so I was very surprised in my meeting when he brought it up because I had gone about it a different way. And then when the audition happened, it just, I was just happy to get to audition, to be honest, because we got to go on the bat pod in the audition. And I just thought, okay, if this is the only day in my life I get to be Selena Kyle, then I can die happy. But it turned out to be a little bit better than that. That's cool. So what was the experience like? What did it end up feeling like when you actually, you know, you got the role, you're doing it, you're on set? Well, it took Chris, from the time that I met him to the time that he told me I, I had the part, it took three and a half months. So okay. I was so relieved when I found out. I mean, just to have an answer and then to obviously get the answer that I had been hoping for. And then on set, I mean, the instinct is to be completely overwhelmed by, I mean, not just the Batman mythology, but also the Chris Nolan Batman mythology. And then you're working with the best people in the world, not just the actors, but in, in every aspect of the crew. So I just tried to stay present and enjoy every second and not get in my head too much. No, oh, fantastic. Um, so are you, are you a comic book girl? Did you, you like comic book movies, comic books? Do you follow? Is this a part of your routine, part not, of your thing? No. Not at all? Why no, not? My best, friend, my best friend does, and he's always coming up to me and asking me questions. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know how this corresponds to the comic book world. I'm really, really sorry. But no, I mean, I, I, I'm almost embarrassed to say, I was really into the Archie comics growing up. Okay. I used to love Archie Digest. Oh, come on, Archie's cool. Archie's cool, and I thought Betty and I thought and, and I found Betty and Veronica very entertaining. Okay, at least you had fun with yeah. it. Yeah, and then when I got this, uh, someone got me the uh, the Dark Knight 
uh, archives, and um, I got into kind of the history of Okay, of cool. Very nice. Selena. Caught up very quickly. Now, I want to find out from you, one of the themes of the movies is dealing with hero and heroes. I want to find out from you, who's the most heroic person in your life and why? Right now, the most heroic people in my life are my mother and my future mother-in-law because they're dealing with a bride. <laughs> 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 and they love me and they make me feel so supported. But right now, she's been on my mind a lot late, lately since the, her passing, but Nora Ephron. Um, she was a trailblazer and she left the world a better place than she found it. Fantastic. Great way to end the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.